church was great. After that, I took Linda down to Ardmore, a place I refer to as you carry two pew-pews with you, only had one with me. We ate at Arby's, and then we had to go to Orchlands to uh, buy dog food, chicken food, and goat food. And normally we have a Play-Doh emergency, but today we had a black licorice emergency, so I made sure I got two more bags of it for Linda. Um, and then after that we drove by Kip's Clunkers looking at the automobiles he has there. Um, the law in Oklahoma has changed on used cars from a car lot. They no longer give you the title when you when they carry the note or you own money owe money on the vehicle, which is how everybody else in America does it, but Oklahoma for some reason didn't. But what that does that the reason Kip never did that is he did not like having a any liability attached to him. Now he's having to do that. It will slow down his uh, s selling of automobiles, but he's the only honest car dealer I know. I'm not trying to denigrate these other folks, but um, I'll give you a for instance. I'm not saying they're not honest, but Seth Wadley has car lots all over southern Oklahoma and up central Oklahoma. The problem is they guarantee engines and oil changes for life. In other words, you're, you take it in, but you got to call the schedule and sometimes it's three, four months before you can get in and get an oil change. I have a my youngest son is an ace mechanic. I mean the real deal, not some shade tree. He has an analytical mind. I'll give you for instance, Linda's Navigator had a few things going bad on it yesterday. It was idling really rough. We pulled into what we call the snake pit. He had just pulled up. He got a pair of channel locks got to work on it and three four minutes later it's idling like it should and runs like it should he's very fast at what he does on mechanical reap he's fast at whatever he does he's just good at it and uh, that is why I'm not too worried but I, I when Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to hear soon, within the next three, four months, I'm going to have to buy some vehicles. I, I'm going to be buying a, a fifth wheel RV for Linda and I to actually live in. And when I do that, I'll be taking Matt, my youngest adopted son, and probably Matt and Mike both, to go look at it with us if they can afford the time because I'm out of my uh, my realm there I out of my depth I, I don't know anything about them I've I've had some before but I I've never lived in one and uh, I want something nice and big that can be pulled around for a number of reasons um, and so when Linda and I go get one. At least Matt is going with us because I don't know what to look for. He and Mike and Mike's parents, uh, David and Danette Deoust, live in them and they know what to look for. They're experts at it. It's the way I view it. Um, so I'll take them with me, take Mike or Matt rather, hopefully Matt and Mike with us when we go 
that way uh, we can uh, we know what we're getting into but before I do that I've got to go buy at least a three-quarter ton pickup with a fifth wheel plate in it and when I do that uh, I will be taking my son Chris it's got to meet some requirements it's got to be fairly new it's got to be really strong it's got to be something other than a Dodge or a Ford <laughs> You know, it took me a year to get that computer to where it would do that. It just chime. It just ate somebody trying to to uh, come into the computer, and I don't have it on the Windows system right now. Um, but uh, I will. When we do this, I will have. Chris, my youngest son, is going to be there, and we're going to go over the truck with a fine tooth comb. I prefer to buy it off of. Uh... Okay, here's what you got to understand: in Oklahoma, buying off an individual, you're not protected by the lemon laws. In other words, somebody sells you something they say it is, and it's not. Individuals can get away with lying to you. Uh, I'm going to give you some examples. Back when things weren't as modern as they are now, I'm talking about cars, you could get away with something like on the push rods if they're rattling a little bit, wrap some bacon around it you know to grease it and sleeve it and all that the uh, if it's burning gas real bad you I mean burning a uh, oil real bad you could put uh, extensions on the spark plugs so that they would go ahead and the oil wouldn't foul them out as easy and uh, just all different th ways people came up to cheat one another on car sales. Well, those days are pretty much older, but still, there are things that uh, I'll give you uh, another example. Say you've got a cracked head or a blown head gasket. Let's say a blown head gasket. You can still take sodium silicate water glass and pour it in your radiator and it will stop that leak for a while and when it does it's not helping your motor and you go buy a vehicle that has a blown head gasket or a cracked head gasket or a cracked head that water glass will temporarily repair it will keep that thing running good long enough that you can sell it and basically break it off in somebody well, my son Chris knows all the telltale signs. And uh, so that is what will be happening. I was going to buy a van for uh, to do research and film from, but I've got a van out there. I think what I'm going to do is just take it to a friend of mine that has a garage and tell him to just put a brand new brake system. I'm going to talk to him this week sometime and find out what he thinks that would cost and I'll try to find the parts and take to him and explain him to him what's going on and see if he's even interested. I don't want to have to buy another truck if I don't need to, but uh, that one's old and realistically I probably ought to just get another truck and save the motor transmission rear end out of that one. Or something else. Uh, I've only been half joking when I've said before I could take that, bury it into the side of a hill over here, and make a storm shelter out of it. There's a business on a Highway 7 going to, between Sulphur and Davis where they did that with an old panel truck. It's a, a certified public accountant firm right now. But uh, it can be done real easy. So 
you know, you get your underground, have it so you got a way to keep water out of it, and you got a storm shelter. Don't know if I'll do that. I may just pull everything out of it and off of it that we need to rebuild Nick's truck van. I don't know. I'm rambling and I'm sorry. Did not get a whole lot of rest last night. Um, I did get some. Linda and I have had a good day so far and I'm going to wrap this thing up and go into the house and change out of, change into bibbed overalls and uh, so that I'm more comfortable. Don't, I don't have shorts on, I got a pair of khaki pants I wore to church. Um, interesting times that are going on right now all over the place. Um, some of it scary, some of it just interesting. Anyway, so that it, there's no doubt in your mind, I, me, 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 I love you with my whole heart. I want God to bless you with everything he will bless you with. And like the sign up there says, be kind. God bless you. I love you. Be kind because being kind is cool. Bye.